Okay, now, dear guys, in these kinds of questions, we try to get rid of the roots, all right? How are we going to do that? Look, they've given us a cube root. So what do we do right away? We take the cube of both sides of the equation. When we look at the expression below, they've given us a fourth root. So we immediately raise it to the power of four. Great. Now, pay attention. These exponents will eliminate the roots, okay? We're left with three to the power of a here, friends. And let's even write the four like this, shall we? Isn't it the second power of two? Since it's two squared, you multiply the exponent. So two times three makes six. All right, so what did we do here? The fours have eliminated the root. So, 4 to the power of b equals 3 to the power of 4, friends. Okay, now let's tidy this part up again. 3 to the power of equals 2 to the power of 6. Guys, let's also write this part as 2 to the second power. 2 to the power of 2 b equals 3 to the power of 4. Now, look, 3 to the power of a can never be equal to 2 to the power of 6, friends. Let's do it like this. Let's switch this expression around. You'll see now that nothing different will happen. 2 to the power of 6. If you swap these, 3 to the power of 4 equals 2 to the power of 2b. Now, do you see that the bases are equal here? Good. So, in that case, I can compare the exponents here, okay? So, uh, over 4 equals 6 over 2b. Friends, if I cross multiply like this, a times b times 2 equals 6 times 4, which is 24. I can simplify the 2 in 24. The value of a times b will be 12. They already asked for a times b, so our answer is 12.